Okay. Yes. Okay. Now try to share your screen. Okay. Now you have my screen. We can as well make use of uh, the message area. If you have any questions along the line, then you let me know from that page. You can type your message here. Good. So we explained this our payment analysis. Um, uh, that we have name of staff, department, annual basic, currently basic, housing, hazard, domestic, utility, and the rest of them. So everything has been explained during uh, the video tutorial. But I made mention of something which is uh, absolute uh, reference. We need to understand that. Absolute reference. Okay. So for absolute reference, what are we talking about? Let us create a new page. Okay. Look at this. This Look is um price. The unit. Sorry. Sorry. Let's say good. Then quantity. And the amount. Let's have unit price. Sorry. Unit price. Yes. Price. We have the amount. We have done what else? Okay, all right, please. All right, no, I don't like food, that's why I couldn't eat much of food items. Sorry, now the quantity if the quantity is five. Let's say this is four, ten, and two. What is the unit price? This is twenty naira. This is fifteen naira. This is a uh, twenty naira, and this is ten naira. We want to know the amount. So, can somebody tell me the function we are going to insert to calculate the amount in this place? Anybody? FX. FX. Explain better, please. Yes. Anybody? Okay. Let's start the amount for Gary. Yes. Naira. Therefore, we have equal to we have uh, quantity for Gary at E7. That is E7. Then your asterisk is she, she press shift key and 8 on the keyboard. That will give you asterisk. E7 multiplied by F7. F we have F7. The next thing we need to do is to press enter to activate uh, the function. Now I'm pressing enter. What do we have? We have 100. 100. Yes. Now, because we, we are applying a relative reference, let us leave it. Uh, because we are I don't need okay. 
Look at the first one is yes. E seven and then F seven. Yes, I, I want to apply the same function to the rest of the items. I don't need to start, you know, uh, typing the function or the formula again. What I'm going to do is I will start from 100, highlight it down to the last point. Okay. After doing that, two things I can do. I can press Ctrl D on my keyboard. Let me press Ctrl D. Pressing Ctrl D you now see the functions to others as well. Ctrl what, sir? E. Ctrl plus D. Okay. So instead of repeating the function, typing get to uh, EA, typing equal to this plus this, we don't need that. Once you have done it for the first one, you highlight it down. Then you press Ctrl D. You work. Are you saying D or G, sir? D, G as in dog. Dog. Okay, dog. Okay. Dog or dog. Right. If right. it is so sideways, it is like this. So this side. So what's right hand side now? So to say, you are going to press Ctrl R, and the whole thing will be done. Yeah. Right. So, apart from shortcut, let us go to where it is. Having highlighted, starting from where the function starts from, you highlight the whole thing down. You go to home button, and in home button, you locate your field. Just give me okay. We have our field here. You click on field, field is towards the tail end of uh, the ribbons that we are having on that home tab under auto song. Okay, I can see. okay. You have field now, so we have field down, field right, field up, and field left. So you click on fill down. Here we have our uh, results. Is that taking? Okay, look at it now. The first one, when you click on 100, go to the formula bar. You have E7 multiplied by F7. Then for yarn is E8 multiplied by F8. So for relative reference, computer believe that you have since you have done the first one, the first one is the first column, uh, the first cell multiplied by the next one. Computer will be doing it in that order for every relative reference. But for absolute reference, it will work like that. In absolute reference, that means we have a particular cell in which every item is referring to. Let's say, for instance, we have. Um, okay, let me do it this way. Let me copy. All right. What are we saying? We have a staff ID for our staff. Then this is their salary, salary of everybody per month. Let us have star A, star B, star C, and star D. Then the salary of star A is two twenty thousand. This is fifteen thousand. We have ten thousand and twenty thousand for. Tab D. These are their salaries per month. But government is being magnanimous that go and add uh, ten thousand naira or let's say five thousand naira to every worker in a particular organization. 
So how do we go about that? Are we together? Huh? Yes, sir. All right. So what you need to do is to add ten thousand naira to every worker. The voice is the voice is not coming out again. I'm I'm hearing you, Biola. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Bella. All right, let's continue. This is salary increase. This is salary increase. And before we have salary, okay, let's do salary increase. We want to increase the salary of every worker by 5,000 euros. What is the mood to voice here? Well, I nobody muted you. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's your network. <laughs> I can hear you loud and clear. Well, I nobody muted you. All right. Sorry, let me attend. Okay, let's continue. So what we are going to do is this. Let us type increment. Increment. The increment is what? Is 10,000 Naira. Oh, sorry. I said 5,000. Let us listen. One, two, three. So 5,000 is increment. Then that means for salary A, we are going to have 5,000 Naira to that uh, what we are going to do look at this equal to let's let's do it uh, in form of a relative reference. equal to what salary of mr a which is twenty thousand naira we have it in e21 okay plus where do we have our five thousand Where in what cell do we have our five thousand? G sixteen. No. H H The five thousand is on eight sixteen. Have it in eight sixteen. So that means plus eight sixteen. Is it it? Yes, sir. Very and good. We now press enter in eight sixteen. How much is Mister? How much is Mister A half now? Twenty-five thousand naira. Very good. Twenty-five thousand naira. Now let us do it the way we have done for uh, our goods, our food item. Let us do it that way and see what we happen. Are we together? Yes, sir. Now I've highlighted and press. What was the short key I told you? Control words. You press control. control. Very good. We have control D. Okay, do you detect anything? What happened? Look at the salary of staff, uh, staff B. Was yes. there any increase? Staff B, C, and D do not have any increase very good why you don't know very okay so that tells us there is a difference between absolute reference and relative reference what happened to staff b is that 
computer believes that we are multiplying the first of the first half a we multiply e21 by a16 so when computer gets to start b computer multiplies e22 by a17 bringing it down one after the other when we get to start idc computer multiplies e22 by a16 H18 rather. You get it now. So it will work that way. Because we are referring to a particular cell. We want to make use of a single cell for every member or for every item of our table or of that particular function. So if we want it to work, we have to fix. Uh, that particular cell, we make it fit, we make it absolute. How do we do that? So let us start again. It will now be equal to salary of staff A multiplied by. Okay, we have our 500. Where do we have our 500? A16. In A16, when you click on A16, you now go to the keyboard and press F4. When you press F4, so you have made it absolute. You see, we have dollar sign here now. Dollar sign H, dollar sign 16. That means both the column and the rows are fixed. Do we get that? So I can't get that. Let Why are we multiplying? We want. Oh, sorry. I was to type plus, isn't it? It's plus, not multiply. Sorry. Okay. 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 So E twenty one plus. So we are fifth. Uh, five thousand. That is what we are saying is that for every worker, the, the computer should be going back to the absolute cell, which is five thousand naira, instead of uh, making it reference. I mean, relative. Do we get that? Is it F four on the keyboard? Yeah. That yes. gives us this dollar and H. Yes, yes. Well, if you press it once again, it will change. It makes one absolute and the other one reference. Relative, rather. Yeah. Press it once again, it will change it. Press it again, it will uh, leave the old cell relative. Okay. okay so it, it has about three. You, have, you can make the whole thing absolute. You can make column absolute. You can make a uh, row of students, and we can do a uh, uh, reality. But for now, let us press F4 press. once. Okay. So, having the last sign, H, the last sign. So, that means the column is fixed and the row is fixed. Now, press enter on the keyboard. So, we will now apply the same rule now, pressing Ctrl D or using our field command. Now I've done that. Do you have any error again? Any error? Okay, no error. Good. Hello. Hi. Okay. So everything is okay. I mean, the whole thing is correct. Okay. Now, before we do, let us do this. If the 
you want to and you want to know the function or the formula that was used to arrive at this particular function, just click on that cell and look all at the formula of that. You are going to have the function there. Yes. Good. All right. Now let us look at this. So we we'll call it. Let us do this. You know, in Excel, if you want to type any figure that starts with zero, it always creates problems. Say, for instance, you want to type your phone number and you start with zero eight zero. 52, 32, 80, this and that. By the time you press enter, the middle zero disappears. Have we experienced that? Or you want to type uh, uh, an account number that starts with zero. So if your account number is zero 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 two five six seven eight one four, you press enter, the digit zero disappears. It will say does it. Okay. And how do we how do that? How do we type our phone number? How do we enter our account number? So what we need to do, there are ways of doing series of ways of doing this. You can start with comma. So what we need to do, there are ways of doing series of you can start with you are using from I mean comma on the keyboard. And that means that it's a short way of converting that cell into a text. Now I've typed comma, let me start with 080 to enter. The zero will not disappear. Okay. Or you use apostrophe. <laughs> if you use apostrophe, it will disappear. All right. So apostrophe is even better. But in all these, it is not acceptable to uh, some pro some some computer programs. Computer will not be seeing this as, as a figure. It will see it as a text. You have changed it. You have formatted the cell to contain text and not figure any longer. I will explain that uh, maybe during our previous section. Next one. Okay. But the real way of doing it, let me explain. Now, if we have phone numbers here, phone numbers, what kind of numbers? Phone, phone number. This is the column for phone number. We have column for account number. This is what we are going to do. We highlight the whole of all the affected columns now. Mm -hmm. Having done that, so this time we have a phone number. I mean, for a typical number, TSM number, how many digits? 11. 11, very good. So, so with that, you can press Control one on the keyboard, or you go to Home tab. When you get to Home tab, you look at Format, and the last uh, option that we have here is Format Cell. When you click on Format, format Cell, you have the dialog box. Then click on number tab. Then go to custom. Custom is the last custom. one. Custom. You have general. I like general. I like general. 
Click on that Click one on that zero. And now type zero in zero. What you want to say to accommodate your zero digits. So let's start typing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we are so we are so to are so we 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 you have to be. If I press control one, that's the second key. Press control one. I'll press control. One. Yes. Press control one. Okay. All right. What do you have? You have Yes. Under the number, do you go to first of? Yes, I have. You click the first. Then you click the first zero. All zero. I should go to. Just click zero. Zero. That general. Then under general, you have one zero. Have you seen it? What's your problem? Okay, don't mm -hmm. worry. Can still watch the video later. Okay, sir. All right. So when you click you click four zero, I you start the number of digits that you are expecting for those particular sentences. Now we are five eleven digits. Let's have our phone number. Zero eight zero. Two. One five four zero. Press enter. The leading zero will not disappear. This one will be one. Computer will just type two. Press enter. Computer will have the leading zero. Making sure it is eleven digits. So we have that now. Yes, sir. And we need to use our account number. The account number we know is ten digits. We are like the form of the app number. Press control one. Go to number the last post of zero. You have to and on that side, type the zero the number of digits that you are expecting. You are expecting ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay. Now we go back to our If my account number starts zero, just start by zero zero two zero one. So this is zero zero will not. If I have your account number zero, you don't need to type the digit zero. Just type the remaining a figure. Computer will complete for you. All right, so it's, so with this, when you are presenting these to the bank, the bank will take it from you and it will work with the code that the bank has generated to transfer money to the would be uh, persons. Are we learning? Yes, sir. We are learning, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Okay, so we want to stop here for today. I believe we have gained a uh, few things. So let's attend our questions before we call it a day for class. Please, please. Any question? Any question? 
It's only that the cursor on my PC is now obeying yes. general tab. General tab. If you do, if you do, click on custom. Click on custom. I don't do general. Click on custom. And you go to do that general. Click on zero, not general. You are using the first zero. Okay, the first zero. Yes, that's under that general. Okay. Not tight. They under that. Can you see on which one? That says a group of cells. Okay. What work? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate. Really enjoyed the class. Thank you very much for making it to the class today. So I will need to upload that picture, and I will send. I mean, another video, and I will send that to the group. So let's watch that. Will be more of a function. Okay. Many of the functions that we have. Excel is very is a very powerful tool. And it's very interesting. Once you do it, we have to learn. All right. Okay. And you may bless her. Thank you for creating time, not a good time for us. More grace to your elbow. Thank you very much. All right. So, everybody say bye bye. 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 Bye bye.